Hey guys, what's going on? Audrey here, the Fit Fearless and Faithful Mom. I'm gonna take just a few minutes of your Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday, and we just got back from Mass, and it is May crowning, so that's really beautiful. But what I really wanted to talk about was Mass today, my experience this weekend, and it was terrible and sad and beautiful and redemptive, all wrapped up in one nice little bow. God has so many blessings, so here's the deal. I have not been to confession since the beginning of Lent, and, um, so that's, uh, that's, you know, not good. We're supposed to go to confession, right? And even you're supposed to go to confession for, you can and really should go to confession for venial sins, not just mortal sins, because venial sins are like little scrapes, right? Well, if you keep getting scrapes and it turns into a big cut and a big open wound. So venial sins do matter. So I like going um, to confession for like the little stuff too, because it's a way to hold us accountable to the body of Christ. Now, we went to a wedding shower yesterday, but I said, okay, where is the closest church to the location where we're going? I found it and I said, okay, great. We can, we'll stay at the party for two hours and then we'll leave. And I don't know, I had a lot of, my, my anxiety was kicking up yesterday for some strange reason. Like my heart was racing all day and I just felt jumpy and I wasn't jumping at the kids at all, but I myself just felt really jumpy. Okay, so we're at the party and then I look at my phone and it said 311 and to get to this church would have taken nine minutes. And so now I'm like calculating, okay, nine minutes. Okay, that gets me to 320. But then we have to say our goodbyes. And goodbyes are probably gonna take longer than 10 minutes in addition to getting in the car. I'm like, oh man, like now I can't receive communion tomorrow because you shouldn't, right? Unless you are in full communion with God, you should not be receiving um, the Eucharist at all. So I was like, Ugh. but then God, spoke in my little heart here and said, hey, can you just chill out? You're having a beautiful time. Can you like look at your kids right now? So you've done wrong and you didn't make it to confession on Thursday when you should have. You didn't make it today. And so you just can't receive. And so then I started calculating, okay, maybe I can like corner the priest before mass. And maybe I can do this, maybe I can do that. Shh, Audrey, stop stop. So we ended up having a beautiful time at, at this wedding shower yesterday. The kid, like just the weather turned out great and it was such a lovely time. And then mass came today and I'm sitting there and I'm like waiting for consecration. I'm like, oh man. Cause I kind of feel like when I don't receive, I kind of feel like the scarlet letter because I'm sitting in the pew and I don't care what people think, but I'm like, oh man, like, mm. I'm sitting here all by myself. Now, sometimes I will go up and cross my arms and get a blessing, which totally throws Eucharistic ministers off. Um, and sometimes the priests too, because, you know, I, like communion is being distributed and I don't like saying the word distributed, but anywho. So when I have, um, when I have done this, like it, it throws people off, right? But I, I sat there and it like, it crushed my soul. I hate, hate is a strong word. I hate not receiving the Eucharist. I hate not going to confession because it separates us from the body of Christ. And again, like if you have not committed a mortal sin, think about, are there any venial sins that you are committing? So link below, I'm going to put on um, it's an examination of conscience for kids, adults, um, um, yeah, like married people, single people, and then even priests are are in in this too. So I'm gonna put that down down below. I'm not gonna take too much time because this is a Sunday, and I don't want to post. Um, I don't want to like do a whole lot of stuff on Sunday. So anyway, but and another thing too is that when we were sitting in mass, and I should have brought my catechism in here, but again, I don't want to take too much time. Is that um, there was a priest one time who said that in, you can still receive communion if you still intend to go to confession, like within the next couple days. That's not correct. Um, my catechism is, is over there, but check your catechism and check like 
the church doctrines and stuff that's that's not right like you you have to go to confession and then you can receive the full on graces um so just a just a little thing like it's it's okay to not receive and you know then again it's you know it's not okay to not receive. We need to be in full communion with God. And if we're not, you need to go to confession. Um, because if you're just receiving and you haven't been to confession and um, you're not in full communion with God, then you're not able to re actually receive the graces that are with the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. So just a little tidbit for, for Sunday, um, just a little bit of reflectiveness for you on this Sunday. And if you haven't been to confession in a while, and so I did, I was able to go to confession um, right after mass. I went up to my priest and I was like, hey, look, I know you're really busy. I know it's me crying today, but if at all possible, can I just take like seriously like one minute of your time? You can count 60 Mississippis and I will be, I will be done. And I was really nervous because I know priests are like really busy and stuff. And, but he was like, yeah, sure, no problem. He was like, yeah, let me just take another couple hands and then let's, you know, go. So that was... I'm so thankful. And he, oh man, the homily really like, mm, got to my heart today. Um, and, and then like he reiterated what he said in his homily to me during confession. Cause he was like, Hey, remember, don't was it live in the past. How did he say it? My mind is going a thousand, a thousand miles an hour right now. But, um, today was just beautiful. And I'm so thankful that I was able to go to confession on today, especially cause we're leaving. And so, yeah. All right. So yes, uh, that's the redemptive and beautiful part of today. Okay. It is, it's such a beautiful sacrament. Like, woo, you know, like it's, it's great. So go to confession and, um, I'll put, I'm going to put that, that stuff below. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. So take care everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.